Hi, second day of awe. What will it bring to us today? So this week is for America to wake up. Wake up America. Now is the time to repent. We are in the appointed times of the Lord. This week is a prophetic week. It is uh, on the Bible calendar. A Bible has a calendar, yes. It's a God's day timer with appointed times that God has appointed himself. And um, I was not raised a Jewish, but when I got married, I joined a church that celebrated Jewish holidays. Um, they were really strange to me and um, very uncommon because I grew up as a Christian and um, Christmas and Easter were my holidays. But not like this church. This church had Passover, Pentecost, a Feast of Trumpets. So it was very interesting for me to kind of grow into it and look into it and kind of learn, see what was all about. Since I wasn't raised as um, this kind of church, I was kind of praying about it, thinking like, well, I'm not sure. I don't really believe this. So one day, I was um, a few years down the road, I actually had a dream. I think we were married two years by then. I had a dream that um, I saw a big calendar on the ground. And... Um, like I could see on the calendar, there were certain holidays. It said Christmas, it said different holidays, and I knew that there were holidays. So as, as I was looking at the calendar, I saw angels came down and they stood on the actual dates of a, there's like a date of a specific on the calendar and they were standing on the actual date. And then when the, I, I could see a living water, like a river, start flowing from the like from the high. It started flowing down the calendar, and it all and it's like it stopped on certain days, and the the, the days that um, an angel was standing, the river was flowing through him. He lit up like a light. And all those um, angels lit up where the river was flowing. And the ones that had no river on them, they just, the angels left the date. So to me, it was like a very interesting to see because I, I understood that some holidays are specifically from God. They are biblical calendars and God approves of them. In Colossians 2, chap, uh, chapter 2, verse 17, it talks about these are a shadow of the things that are to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. So to me, it just, like, what does it mean? It means that all these holidays are a shadow of the things, of the real thing that will come. And the reality is in Jesus Christ. So all these holidays are, it shows to Christ that all of these holidays, they all um, point to him. So, um, because I was thinking, well, they are Jewish holidays. Well, I mean, what? Well, I mean, I don't need to, I'm not a Jewish person. Why would I um, celebrate these holidays? But they're not really Jewish. They're godly holidays. God picked those appointed times. There are appointments from us, to, from God to us. So um, in Jewish, the word moedim means appointed times, which is like um, you have an appointment with the actual creator. So I don't want to miss those appointments. 
and from the, from that day on, from that um, from when I had a dream, I started investigating, started searching and listening and kind of praying more about it. And I think just God just opened a whole new chapter in my life since then with more details about Jesus and Christianity and just made me more, I guess, alive, which I am really happy to share with you as well. And the first holiday is Shabbat, which is an anchor for families, really, because this is when our family gets together. This is when we celebrate and love each other and stay together and bless God. That's one of those holidays. And many more are um, appointed times. We'll talk about them later. So today is number day number two. Do you think something may happen? Hopefully nothing happens today. Today is a day of repentance, a day of reflection, a day to pray and to be aware of our surroundings, kind of more in tune what God wants us to do. So blessings to you and keep faith. Okay, so good thing is, I was right, nothing happened today, nothing extremely happened, at least nothing new happened today, at least I don't really know. So if someone knows something, let me know in the comments. Um, the only thing I noticed that happened was a 5.6 magnitude earthquake that happened in the Philippines. Um, my prayers go out to those people who are hopefully nothing, not, nothing got too, dis too destructive. I'm not really sure. And the other thing that caught my attention was um, in Los Angeles still, there's a big fire still on the loose, uh, Bobcat fire. It's the largest for Los Angeles and um, it's still burning and it's approaching around 100,000 acres already. So that's the only thing I could really pinpoint into what's happening these days or at least on this specific day I'm sure a lot of things are going on but I was just trying to see if anything that caught my attention that I want to pinpoint and make a video about um, so repent Los Angeles repent all the towns surrounding Los Angeles because today is the second day of awe and today is the day to reflect, to pray, to repent of all your sins. So um, God will um, maybe send some rain or um, help the firefighters finally get the fire under control. Even here, um, far away, we still can smell the fire. I'm not sure if it's other fires burning around the area, which I'm sure because California is still on fire. So California repent, Los Angeles repent. Um, these are the days of awe, a day of repentance. A big day of judgment is coming. It will be on Saturday, for, by my calculations, Saturday will be a judgment day. That's like the last day, I think it's day 10 of um, us. So I'll, let, I'll give you the updates in my third video. This is my second video. And on my third video, I'll give you more details about it. So stay tuned. Hopefully tomorrow will be day three. We'll be in a good position. Nothing will happen. We'll be all going well. Happy Sunday to you and happy second day of awe. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Thanks.